Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So today we got a video from Shelby Church's twin sister, Monica Church, who just posted a video called What I Spent and Made This Year as a 26-year-old in Seattle. So basically, she's uh, just like giving us her tax return, like what, what she spent and made. What am I, the IRS? So you know what? Today, we're going to review the video and let you know exactly what I think about uh, her personal finance habits right after, of course, you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Now, with that said, let's begin. Who's texting me? Why is my phone all blown up? If you're new here, hi, my name is Monica. I am 26 years old and I live in Seattle, Washington. I try to be conscious about how much money I'm spending. But it would be really funny if they just traded spots for a video and just see how many people don't notice it. Like Shelby could be on Monica's channel, Monica could be on Shelby's channel, it'll be like, uh, what was that, what was that movie called? The Parent Trap, right? With Lindsay Lohan, they just switched lives. Why don't they do that? They should make, that would be a viral video. I switched places with my twin for 24 hours. Come on, if they, they would both, they would double up on the views because they could each make a video from the other's perspective. Come on, that's a viral video. Now with it being a whole new year, I looked back at my bank statements for 2021 and found the average that I spend every single week on all of my expenses and debts. And today I'm gonna break that down for you. Wow, great intro. Honestly, both of them do such good jobs and like B-roll, scripting, it's so well thought out. <sighs> the thing with this though that I've noticed is that uh, it takes so long to do and uh, when people are kind of just scrolling around on YouTube, it's, it's not the best ROI. Like yes, it can make a difference, but I've noticed I just slap together vlogs. I got a vlog channel. I'll link to it down below in the description. It seems like almost like the, the less the effort I put into the videos, the better they do. Go figure. So I've done some of these what I spend in a week videos, but they're just me frolicking around on a random week showing you expenses as the day goes by. I never have really gotten into the nitty gritty of my mortgage payment, my utility bills, my car payment, my insurance, health insurance, all those things. I've never really, really, really told you guys all encompassing what I truly spend in a month. Oh, uh, we should take a guess here. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say 85 thousand dollars that that's going to be the total at the end of the year and then we're going to be subtracting stuff like mortgage equity and different investments so uh yeah 85k let me know what you think down below in the comments we, we could kind of play along together with this let me know what you think she spends but uh yeah Let's see, let's see how close we are. Good credit is so, so important in our society. When I got my first ever credit, Wow, this is a long sponsor. I'm just sitting through it. This is almost a two minute long sponsor. Now, usually with sponsors like this, they like it, uh, you know, 45 seconds to about a minute 15. That's where I found to be the sweet spot. Otherwise, people tune in. This is, this is I'm, I'm two minutes in right now. That's too long. Too long of a sponsor. So what I spend in a week. Oh, wow. That was, uh, that was approaching three minutes. Too long, too long, too long. I don't know. If you can't sell someone in, in, in a minute, it's cut it down to a minute, you know? One minute. It's Credit Sesame. It's, uh, you know, their Sesame Cash account. Go and download it. It's a cool app. I give it a thumbs up. Give it a shot. They help support the channel. That's it. That's it. Just say something like that. It's good enough. The mortgage on my house is $37.50 a month. And you guys know I have roommates, and one of my roommates pays $11.50 a month, and the other pays $9.50 a month. That leaves me with a monthly payment of $1,650. This equates to $412.50 a week. That's not bad. That's not bad, especially with roommates. The fact that you refinance to save that much money is fantastic. I think everyone should refinance if you have the means to refinance. Just go and do it. It's, it's like getting free money. It's like, hey, uh, you're paying $2,000 a month right now. Do you want to pay $1,700 a month instead? Yes, go refinance. That's it. Very simple stuff. Uh, I'm glad she did that with roommates for $3,750 probably knocked that down quite a bit. I've owned that home for one full year now and I was paying that every month, but super exciting. This is actually the very first month. We are now on Airbnb. $700 a night. What is that? 700, people really paying $700 a night? I could stay at the Ritz Carlton for $700 a night. Wow. I would be very interested in spending a weekend there and doing a review. Monica and Shelby, if you want to do that, we could pick, we could pick a non-busy weekend, I'll go there, and we'll film a vlog there. And uh, I, I think that would be quite 
quite nice. I would do that. My next biggest expense would be my car. I got a new car over the summer. I haven't really talked to you guys much about it, but it's a nice car. Oh, uh, that's gotta be a thousand a month. A thousand dollars a month, gone. So I know she's a real estate agent, so she needs a nice car, but I'm gonna tell you, she can get like 95% of the uh, prestige factor for a third of the cost. It is a Porsche Macan GTS. I put a down payment on it, but decided with low interest rates, I'm just gonna finance it. So my car payment is $655 a month. Yeah, but $655 plus you have insurance, plus you have gas, plus you have just other stuff, it's a thousand. It's a thousand bucks. My insurance is $155 a month which means $38.75 a week. I drive a lot and my car sucks up a lot of gas. I promise I'm going to switch to an electric car on my next car. If it were me, honestly, I would have just leased a, a BMW 3 Series or a Mercedes C-Class or just something like that because then, you know, a lot of clients, they don't know like the difference between like a C-Class and an S-Class. It's like, it's all kind of the same thing, give or take. So as long as the car is clean, it doesn't have dents, it runs well, and uh, you know the interior isn't all scuffed up, that's all you need. Now we're going to move into what I'm gonna call the survival category. So these are gonna be things that I need to live. With these survival type things, I used to run them on a personal credit card, but now I'm running them through my Sesame Cash. But I looked at this credit card over the last year. I spent around an average of $600 a month, which equals $150 a week. That's a lot, $150 a week at the grocery store. What are you getting at the grocery store that's that expensive? I would guess for her $350 a month on groceries. That'd be a decent amount, especially if you're cooking that much at home. My last survival expense that I just pay right through my bank account is my health care. Since I'm 26, I don't get to mooch off my parents anymore. My health care is $140 a month. $140 a month is so cheap. Oh man, I'm paying $30. Uh, no, sorry. I'm paying I'm paying $300 a month for nothing, for nothing. How is she paying 140? How is she doing that? For all of these lifestyle expenses, I have a credit card that I spend them all on, this specific one that is not survival expenses. And I was actually able to see over the last year of 2021, on average, I spent $937 a week on this credit card. Oh, that's a decent amount. She's probably making bank though. She's gotta be making a decent amount to be able to drop that much money in a credit card every week. As a real estate agent, I have a lot of coffee meetings. I've found lately it's been like three a week. They're always pretty nominal, less than $10 each time. Oh no, no, $30 a week. You know what, I should send you some bankroll coffee and then just invite clients to, uh, to a listing of yours and be like, hey, I may hey guys, c come to my listing. It's a million dollars, it's in a good area, and uh, we got bankroll coffee. So uh, sit down here, I'm gonna serve you the bankroll coffee. It's now for sale at bankrollcoffee.com, and now we can talk about the listing. That's what I do. I go out to eat like twice a week. When I go, it's usually me and my boyfriend, Jason. And so sometimes we're splitting it, sometimes I'm paying, sometimes he's paying. But I found through my credit card statements, on average going out to eat, I spend about $200 a week. It's a lot, especially if you guys are splitting it. It's like he's getting some, you're getting some, you're going to some nice fancy places. For, like imagine if it, it's really like $400 a week between the two of them. So let's say $400 a week. Uh, so what's that, four times four, so we're at 1,600 plus 650. So she's spending like over $2,000 a month on food between restaurants and the grocery store. That's absurd. Wellness, on a good week, I will go to two workout classes in the week and that is on a good week, okay? Workout classes are $30 each where I go, so that's about $60 a week on workouts. Yeah, $60 a week for only going twice. I would say it's worth it to spend a little bit more and go like three to four times a week. Twice a week, is that enough? Is that enough to only do twice a week? I found that, at least when I go twice a week, it's like you're kinda, you do a little bit and then you slide back down. You do a little bit and you slide back down. I think you know going more often, three to four times a week, I think is, uh, it's worth it, it's worth it. I have a very high need for fun. I wanna have fun all the time, every day. This includes travel, and some weeks are way more than others. 
but it averaged out that on fun I spend $600 a week. That's a lot. $600 a week. See, my idea of fun is, uh, you know, watch that new iDubs video he just posted. It's like an hour long. I'm texting me, say, hey, I just posted a new video. Let's watch this tonight. That's fun. Plus, imagine $2,000 a month for food is pretty fun, too. It's, this is expensive. A lot of those statements were on golf. A round of golf is easily $100. Trips to Palm Springs and a round trip is typically around $250. Sporting events, a Kraken game, which is really popular right now, is like $150. So just things like this will show kind of statements and lifestyle things. But yeah, that's how much I spend. $600 a week on fun. I think she's got to be making $350,000 a year. To be able to support this and still maintain like a healthy savings and still like kind of live below your means, 350. That's my guess. So she spends 85, she makes 350. Let's see. I spend on average $1,776.83 a week. So if we take that number times 52 all in, I'm spending $92,352. Oh man, I was so close. I said 85,000 and she's at 92. Oh. Come on, that's a win for me. Let me know how you guys did, again, in the comment section. You could edit your comment, be like, oh, hey, Graham, messed up, guessed the wrong thing. I was pretty close, but I'm gonna say she's making 350. I thought it was pretty interesting to see that all of my spending amounted to $92,000. I decided to divide that by my gross income for 2021, and I found that I actually spent 20% of my income on all of my expenses. All right, so 20%, ooh, okay, so 92,000 times five is 460,000. Okay, so I'm off. I thought she was making a little bit less. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. She's making $460,000 a year, $38,000 a month. Where's that money coming from? Hold on, let, let's look at the views. We're gonna go to Social Blade really quick. So 500,000 views a month, $5,000 a month from that, plus she's probably doing, spon that sponsorship is probably 15K plus the money that she's making from the Airbnb plus the money she's making as a real estate agent. So yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, 460, she's, she's doing well. Minus taxes, of course, I have to pay that. So how about this? She's 350 after tax. That's fair. I'll travel whenever I want, I'll eat wherever I want, I'll buy the items I want. But I was still able to save a lot of money. So maybe my habits aren't as bad as I thought. Now I'm not gonna disclose how much money I made in 2021, but if you can do some basic math and you're still watching this video, you've probably figured out how much by now. Why don't you just say it? It's just say, because everyone is, just knows. You spent 20% multiply that by five. It, there you go, like roughly. But that's pretty good. I feel very lucky for that, but I don't feel like I need to scream it from a mountaintop to YouTube. Four hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Imagine she's just like that. Yeah, four hundred and sixty thousand. You know, I don't know. I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. It's good. That is a breakdown of, of what it's looked like for what my expenses looked like. I found this really interesting because I never really actually dove that deep into it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Great video. So Monica, I'll link to your channel down below in the description. Let me know if we could stay at your, uh, your Airbnb during like a non-busy off-peak season. We could spend like a weekend there. I'll vlog it. I think that would be a pretty cool experience. Overall, great video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Feel free to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.